right, let's go ahead and check out the top 16 guys from the tournament. The Liverpool, huge, huge tournament, guys. What was it? How many players was it? It says here 1,518. I don't believe that. I think it's much more. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. Tordrick Lev got number 16. Absolutely amazing. Gardevoir, he's been, he's been playing Gardevoir. Uh, four worlds, four of the Kirilla with one Mirage step. I think he used it. In the top uh, top 16, he used it. Mirage step to fill up his board. Or all, all the guard fours are there. It's just a tough matchup, I think. What was he against? Tina? I forget. But remember, he was streamed. There's the Zacian V. Scream tail at one. Did not see it. We did see him use before that Miluetta, I think. But now we don't see it in here. Uh, 10 Psychic. As well as two reversal energies, all he needed. Four Iono, wow, a lot of Iono, wow. Kind of toxic. Two professors research, one border, uh, bosses or one boss, wow. Uh, four battle VIP, four level, three ultra, three rare, two fog, two super raw, two counter. And uh, yeah, lost vacuum at one only. Absolutely amazing, nice deck here. Top 16, this is the Gardevoir deck to, to beat. Absolutely amazing. We're going to see a lot more of Tord absolutely uh, destroying the meta here, guys, with this Gardevoir. There's a Roaring Moon, guys. Roaring Moon from Germany. Germany loves, the Europeans love Roaring Moon. It's actually insane. Four Roaring Moons, two Galarian Moltres. Pretty straightforward deck, guys. Just running the Galarian Moltres with the energy switches. Actually works out really well with the Roaring Moon. As long as the Roaring Moon is still... In the bench, you can actually dark patch him with this energy switch from the Galarian Moltres and one uh, attachment. That's it. He's he's ready to attack. So I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be running a bunch of switches. How many switches is he running? Uh, four energy switches. Only one switch card. That's it? One switch card? Any escape rope? One escape rope, one switch card. That's it. That's insane. That's amazing. Only one switch card, one... Escape rope. How many earthen vessels? Because this is a big one. Two earthen vessels. That's it. Also running three trekking shoes. Huge here, guys. Being able to find this from the puck stop basically allows you to not lose a card in the trash. Nice, nice here, guys. Uh, nice run. A lot of professors research. Actually, really strong here, guys. As, uh, playing it this turn one can set you up uh, really heavy for the Seda's turn two. So if you're going second, Professor Research, after you drop your whole hand, maybe you even go for some UX action and then go for the Professor Research. Because your whole hand is items. You can play them all out. Uh, really good <laughs> Roaring mo uh, Moon. It's actually working out, guys, really well. Chi and Pao here, guys. Uh, let's see this list. Uh, we've been wondering about it. Very heavy on the ratios. Absolutely strong here. Four Pokestops. Hisuian to find any of the hidden Bidoofs or Chien Pao's or anything necessary. Also maybe finding all the high... I can find a lot, guys. He is running the Iron Bundle in here. Four Superior Energy Retrieval. Wow. Uh, four Battle VIP. Four Irida. One Iona is all he needed. Uh, four Nest Ball and three Super Rods. A lot of Super Rods. Lots of Energy Retrievals. Lots of uh, bringing back cards into his hand because of all that uh, discarding and uh, yeah guys really strong list only one lightning for that iron hands wow he didn't even worry about it getting uh <laughs> prize he just went for the one uh moving on guys we got uh that was obviously jake uh, this is runes uh, guardvor this is also from germany Gardevoir from Germany. See the differences here. He is running the Cressela. This is the Cressela. That's what I'm talking about. Not the Meloetta. My bad. So this one is running Cressela, but pretty much similar. Running very similar ratios. We are running more artisans, more counter, uh, a lot of counter catchers, and uh, pretty similar deck list to what we see here. A little bit of difference in ratios. I think I'm not sure. Was it three fog? I think that was. Two fog crystals, uh, but yeah, guys, interesting. Yeah, I mean the deck is right here, guys. <laughs> We're getting inspired by all these amazing decks. Here is the Charizard that made it. Mads, uh, top twelve. Two Charmander, the discard, and he goes for the Ember. Wow, this is huge, 
huge attacker. I think this is the best Charmeleon. You don't really want to run any other Charmeleons than this. Uh, and he is running the Mew here. It's going to be missed. And he is also running a Radiant Charizard. We're seeing a lot of people opting away from the Charizard Radiant here. He is running it with six energies. Wow. Doing a lot of work. He's running the TMD as well at one. And two Lost Vacuum, two Super two super Rods, huge. Let's see, is he running any level balls? No level ball, one level ball is all he wanted. So instead of the two level ball, he went for a Super Rod. Wow, two Super Rods. Oh, well, it makes sense. He's only running six energies. So when you're running that low of an energy count, you do want more Super Rods. Makes total sense. Joshua here, another Roaring Moon in 11 place. Pretty similar to the other one. This one is only running one Moltres V. And that's it. That's very interesting. Also relying heavy on the Radiant Greninja attacks. Not going to go for the Iron Hands here on this Roaring Moon. I haven't seen a Roaring Moon with Iron Hands actually yet. Um, we have Consta here. There's a Fusion Mew. Of course, Fusion Mew took the whole tournament, but there's a Fusion Mew here. Just a straight up DTE. Oh no, there is a Milowita, so there is some Fusion Strike. This is this, this is a Fusion Strike energy one. There is a bunch of Alyssa Strike. Is there going to be Alyssa Sparkle? Two Alyssa Sparkle. So it means obviously only two, just heavy on the DTE action, but also uh, there's a possibility for that Milowita first turn KO. Oh. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, pretty amazing here. A Fusion Mew did amazing work, guys. Took the whole tournament. Alexander Dominic, Domek, sorry, uh, is running the Roaring uh, Moon. Oh my god, the Germans love Roaring Moon. They love Roaring Moon so much. I'm trying to see here if there's anything special. He is running the Power Pad, guys, for more Sadas. Uh, very amazing, amazing to see here. We have Kieto here from Japan. Another Charizard. Let's look at this one. Uh, only running one of these uh, Charmander, nothing else. Ooh, this one's running a different Charmeleon. Interesting. He's running the Mew. We will miss you. He is also running a Radiant. Two Super Rods. So what is he missing then from this? Only one Counter Catcher. One Choice Belt. He is running Choice Belt. Where's the Vitality Band? No Vitality Bands. Interesting. He is running one Colorus. Wow. And an Avery. So there are certain matchups he's looking to take down. In different ways. Wow. Three boss, three Iono, and four Arvin? No, no, only two Arvin. Wow. Man, this guy's insane. I want to see his games so bad. We're going to watch his games. We're going to try to find them. Uh, Gavin here. Uh, with the Giratina, four Comfy, one Sableye, one Greninja, one Cramorant is all she wrote. Very nice to see, guys. Moving on, we got another Lost Box here. There's a Roaring Moon in this one. Oh, this one is kind of a stall deck. Is it a stall deck? No. No, no, this one is a one prizer, but uh, can 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 steal big big guys and, and small guys in the same way. Really nice, actually. Lost box, we call a lost box paradox. Just really nice. Lots of movement, lots of ways to play the game. One tropius. If any of your opponents were knocked out, this becomes basically 110. But it also deals with the Charizard. That makes sense. Nicholas here with his Snorlax. Oh my god, the Snorlax stall. Holy moly. Nothing. <laughs> no energies. Oh my god, he did a top four. This is insane, guys. Fine. <laughs> Look at his deck if you want to play the, the, the Snorlax. Uh, Brennan, Lost Box, Charizard. Wow. A Radiant Charizard is all he wanted. Two, two Sableyes here. Two Cramorants. So a bunch of attackers. One prizers. Oh my god, this is so tough to play against, guys. It's, it's doable, but it's very tough. And we got uh, Brent here with his Giratina. Giratina is so strong. Once you figure out the the sequence of, of events, it's so strong. Four Colrus, of course. Two Roxans. Two of the boss. Wow, four of the Peeth. And two of the counter catchers, guys. Heavy on the counter catchers. And fi finally, Fabrizio with his Mule list took over the whole game. Just ran a DTE run. 
a couple of fusion shards just in case he really didn't need them but that they were just to uh, allow his genesis to activate there's the three path one lost city uh two tr two boxes disasters uh, in case he gets one shot absolutely amazing to see guys very smart plays understood his sequence against the Kiratina matchup and did very very good very very happy to see this that amazing top 16 i'm not gonna lie guys i looked at the finals we're gonna look at the finals we're also gonna look at that uh, japanese charizard i'm gonna look at that and uh, so check it out